Welcome back to our mini series. We're going to talk to you today about thermal imaging 101. We're going to focus more on what the camera is actually seeing. So if you're using a fire service thermal imaging camera, whether you're using a situational awareness camera or a decision making camera, these cameras are programmed to see what's known as long wave infrared radiation between 7 and 14 microns. That is picking up the heat coming off of a surface that the camera's calibrated at a preset emissivity of 0.95 or 0.97. And you're like, wow, that's a lot. Well, let's talk about that and break that down. First of all, long wave infrared is where two thirds of the energy of a fire is transferred. Two thirds. Well, that means we're not seeing two thirds of the energy that's transferred in a, or transmitted in a fire. So that means we need a device to help us see that. In addition to that, it's picking up that, op, picking up that heat coming off of a surface at a preset emissivity. Emissivity is the ability of an object to emit, absorb, or reflect heat numerically between zero and one, and can give a false reading to firefighters if the surface itself is shiny. Surfaces that are shiny are low emissivity objects, no different than low E glass when you look for windows in a home improvement store. When you look at the most of the objects on this earth, they are closer to what your camera is programmed to, which is 0.95 emissivity, which is a carbonaceous object. Skin, soot, wood, furniture, things of that nature are all going to be close to that. So a rougher object, it will pick up more accurately. However, as we said before, this is not a thermometer. So we know that this picks up long wave infrared radiation. We know that that passes through smoke pretty well and allows us to pick it up. But we also know it's not, a, it's not a thermometer and we should not trust the spot temperature. What we want to know though is can we see other things with it? You cannot see through walls. It's not x-ray vision as we have mentioned before. And we cannot measure gas temperatures. If you want to talk about gas temperatures and measurements, I highly encourage you to look up a subject called optical gas imaging and see how specific that is and why that's different from what we're using here. Remember we're using a qualitative device looking for heat coming off those surfaces to help us find the fire, find the victim, give us the layout, and help us make better decisions. If you're going to use a device like this, make sure you know what it will do, what it won't do, what it's seeing, what its limitations are, and more importantly, know your camera. When does it show color? When does it switch over? If it does high and low sensitivity, if it's like the seek and use mixed gain mode makes it easier, great. Make sure you know that before you go into a fire. Know your camera, know your job, and do what you swore to do, which is serve the public with your best. Stay intelligently aggressive and stay safe, and thanks for watching.